1990 Marlin 25N. Stab my finger with it. Dang staple. Um, Tasco 3 to 9. 7 round magazine. I got a good crown, is pretty good. Did have surface rust on it. That seems to be used a brass brush and some oil. <clears throat> There's a spot right there still. Yeah, may go around, may get around to uh, refinishing it, but it's a nice little rifle. Take that, take that serial number and 2000 minus the first two digits, which would be 10, would be a 1990. A, I, get it out of there. I don't have my son with me today, so I'm doing this one handed. <clears throat> Seven round box magazine. I believe, I haven't tried it yet, but you can still use the uh, 795 magazines in this, along with the, uh, the 10 round. Got some seaside velocitors, but. Uh, those are golden bullets in there. I do have a brand new box. These are quite a bit faster, so they're printing pretty high. And we've got some of this Max Tech out here. We're shooting it. Now, let's see if I can get it way down there. Hundred yards. 50 printing a little a little higher than I wanted to at 50. I was trying to shoot all the way down here. That's 200 yard line. I just can't see. Can't see what I'm hitting very well. Let's see. There's the 100. You got a little plate there. That water bottle next to that bowling pan I just hit. And that little teeny plate right there. I think what I'm going to try to do is set you guys up. I don't know if I can get it. Where you can see. Like I said, I'm trying to do this by myself today, so. Nope, I don't know if I, I'm not going to be able to get this to work. Almost, bear with me, I know. Get me all seasick here. That might do it. Go ahead and get a magazine loaded up. Let's put five rounds of the Remington Golden Bullet. And I'm going to aim for that little metal plate. But the velocities actually have to, I'm dead on at 100. Uh, but with the uh, <clears throat> Golden Bullet and the standard velocity, I just drop down to the part of that crosshair where it gets thick. It's pretty close. That's seven rounds. One in the chamber. Let's see if I can do this without knocking the camera over. Stand by. I don't know if you can see it on, on the phone, but that was a hit. Let's see if I can knock that bowling pin over. Right over the top. Really smooth bolt, little plate, and a miss. A little more. Hit. I mean, uh, I'll, I'll roll some. I took some pictures of getting excited in indoors. <clears throat> I'll put those pictures up, but by the time I shot the Eighth or ninth group, I had the barrel nice and cleaned out. So by the time I got to the eighth or ninth group with the Remington Golden Bullets at 25 yards, it's just one hole. This is just a cheap Tasco. Three to nine. That's another hit. No, you can't see it. Oh, yep. I was going to move it over. There's a smaller plate on the other side, but we'll just stay here. We'll go for that water bottle. 
Just went right through it. Not very reactive target. Go back to that metal plate. 100 yards. Oh, that's a good one. You could hear it. All right. Um, we're empty. I'll go ahead and just do just do the rest. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, perfect. All right. I'm not gonna unzoom it or flip the camera. Like I said, I'm by myself today, so just bear with me. Bear with me. Do seven more on that plate. All right. Nick. When I went and looked at this at the shop, it was loose. The action was loose in the stock. Just needed to bolt tighten down on it. And it's, uh, I'll tell you what, they're a little 22. Just, uh, they don't make them like this now. I mean, I guess they do. You'd have to buy like a <coughs> CZ 452 or something, but it is uh, $225. Not bad. Not bad at all. I was going to get a Savage. Oh, yes. I'm having to hold in between the uh, crosshair and the reticle here. <coughs> savage, so I can get the AccuTrigger, but it has a plastic stock with no cheek riser and no iron sights. I'm not sure why they do that. Move right on the left side. We got one more. There we go. <clears throat> I do like Savage. But like I said, um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure why they do synthetic stock with no cheek riser and no iron sights. That seems uh, kind of odd to me. You know, for $270 rifle, and then you automatically have to put it in the stock or get a cheek piece or something for it. I do like the AccuTriggers. I just, the plastic stocks feel really flimsy. Yeah, uh, I don't know. It's, they're still good rifles. I'm just a fan of this, you know, this old steel and wood here. Give me one more look at it. Sorry about the uh, quality of this video here. Like I said, all by myself. Actually, the guy I know that works at the Farm King was just here. And um, let me shoot his M1 Grand. That was pretty dang exciting. So, if you enjoyed looking at this old 22, you give me a like or a comment. Subscribe would be great. Got quite a few new subscribers this month. Have a good day.